place is here, the time is now, and the journey into the shadows that we're about to watch could be our journey. Inside, inside each of us is the capacity to create an enemy known as math anxiety. It is said, when we decide to stop taking math courses, listen carefully, you will hear the sound of doors closing. math is sometimes called math anxiety. What do you feel when you have to do math? Yes. I feel all like helpless and like hopeless and stuff and like I'll never get it. And you? Stressed out. I just I just zone out on tests. It's okay you can come on in. How do you feel when you have to do math? Panic! Almost like someone is attacking me and I feel helpless and alone. You are definitely not alone. One survey found that 85% of students in introductory math classes suffer from at least mild math anxiety. And another survey found that two-thirds of Americans suffer from at least some form of math anxiety. So, like, why are so many people afraid of math? Math anxiety may have many causes. For example, you could have had a bad experience when you were a child. Yeah, man. I remember this one time I was sick when we went over fractions, and now just looking at a fraction makes me sick. Exactly. And even your teachers or your parents could have passed on their own math anxiety onto you. No way! Teachers are like our friends! 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 Friends. Hey, time's coming! Faster! <laughs> well, teachers are only human after all. Except for the ones that are monsters. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, let's talk about some of the symptoms of math anxiety that you've all experienced. Well, when I'm in like class and on homework, I'm fine. But when I get to the test, I, I just, it's like my brain just doesn't even work. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Not really all that weird. Fear of math may cause what they call a temporary brain glitch. Students with math anxiety may have memory problems that occur only when they take tests with numbers, but not any other kinds of tests. Dude, any kind of math makes me want to hurl. I mean, I get all sweaty, my heart starts thumping, I can't even breathe. I just, I just want to take off. It's called the fight or flight syndrome. When you're under stress, it's like you're under attack. Your body either wants to run away or fight back. It's like your brain shuts off and your primitive instincts kick in. All your logic and reasoning abilities that you need for math desert you. Not good when you're being attacked by polynomials. <laughs> Can math anxiety kill you? Everybody else could do it. I told you, you'd never go anywhere. I think you even spelt your name wrong. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I can't think. Oh, oh, oh I feel sick. Oh. oh, I think I can. I think I can. Oh, I think I can. No, you can't. You've never been good at math. Face it. You just don't have a math mind. <laughs> but I studied it. This all looks like a foreign language to me. And, oh. Oh, yeah. All look like they know what they're
they're doing. She's doing so well. It's going so fast. <laughs> to do list tanning parlor, manicure. Then I'm going to go shopping. This isn't so bad. I'm glad I went to the tutoring center last week. A football is thrown with a velocity of, um... A football! If only they hadn't traded Culpepper! Ugh. Math rocks! I can't wait for calculus! 10Q. Thank you very much! <laughs> <sighs> Look at her! <laughs> this is so easy for her, she's laughing. It's because she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I think I can't. Oh, I think I can't. Oh, I know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. That's right, a lack of confidence is a common problem with students with math anxiety. You get this cycle of failure. You have your negative math experience, which then leads to your math avoidance, and then to your poor preparation, and then poor math performance, which can also contribute to another negative math experience and start the cycle all over again. Whoa, that makes me dizzy, man. Okay, okay, but like, what if you just weren't born with a mind for math? Yeah, I, I'm a musician. I can't be an artiste and be good at math too, right? I had a teacher once that told me that girls just can't do math as well as boys. Well, that's one of the common myths about math that may contribute to the feeling that you'll never be good at it. Let's bury those myths once and for all. I hope this is a mathematical brain, Dr. Frankenstein. You don't have to be born with a math brain, Igor. Learning math is like learning a language. It comes with experience and practice. Give me math book. Now! Greetings, my friends. Do you think math is not creative? Math concepts are used throughout literature, art, music, and even in the movies. My friends, without math, special effects in movies might still look like this. My friends, you have seen the evidence. Don't let bad movies like this haunt you in the future. <sighs> My body lies over the ocean. I'm so bored. Give me something to do. Like some math puzzles. What are you talking about? Women can't do math. Really? Research has failed to show any difference between men and women in mathematical ability. As a matter of fact, I was the head of my class. <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Counselor? Like, what about the one that if you raise your hand all the time in class and act all like smarty pants, then nobody will talk to you and you'll never have any friends. Well, that one's actually true. Okay, I think I've got it. I'm afraid of math because of some childhood experience. And girls can do math just as well as boys. And there's no such thing as a math brain. Now what? The first step is to confront your fears. Let's see what happens when I hold up this math book. 
Geekman, just as I suspected, we meet again, Counselor. I see you're all well acquainted with Geekman here. He seems real to you, but he is merely a physical manifestation of your phobic reactions towards math. Huh? I didn't quite catch that, Miss Counselor. He's what your imagination creates when you have math anxiety. Do not fear. He can no longer hurt you in the presence of one who is no longer afraid. Gee, Super Counselor, you mean you once had math anxiety? Yes, kids. You'd be surprised at how many professionals have once suffered as you do. But with good study habits and guidance, you too can learn to overcome your math anxiety and become successful in math. He's one nasty dude. How do I even begin to get over that? Math anxiety can be a formidable foe. But you've already taken the first step. If you suffer from math anxiety, seek help. Talk to your instructors, your counselors, or your tutor centering staff. But there are many ways you can begin to help yourself. This calls for my secret weapon. PowerPoint on! Self-help techniques for conquering math anxiety. Number one, learn stress management and relaxation techniques. Take deep, relaxing breaths. Number two, combat negative thinking. Think positive thoughts like, I know this or I can do this. Be confident. Visualize yourself succeeding. This is a trick that athletes use to channel their stress in a positive way. Do easiest problems first. Work around the panic by finding something else on the test that you can do. And number five, channel your stress into something else, like a stress ball. Number six, start preparing early. Take care of yourself. Eat healthy and try to rest your brain and your body before a test. Number eight, try to understand the why of math concepts rather than memorizing. Number nine, find a support group. Support groups are especially helpful when overcoming math anxiety as an adult. And number 10, reward yourself for hard work. Here's your reward. <laughs> Insert evil laugh. What? Oh. You'll never win, Counselor. These kids are mine. MINE! <laughs> oh yeah? Let's put it to the test. Yes. Yes. A test! Better yet, a pop quiz. My favorite. All right, Geekman. I'll play your game. A pop quiz it is. A pop quiz? Holy prom cancellation, Counselor! It's okay, you can do this. There's no time like the present time to practice the strategies you just learned. You all created him in your minds, and you can uncreate him. It's okay, you can do this, you're stronger than he is. <laughs> Breathe, relax, think, no. I can do this. No! Yeah, all right. Here's an easiest one. Cool, I can do this. I'm going to give myself a huge reward when I'm finished. <laughs> I can count on you, right? This You've always been is anxious about still scary, got some but times. at least now I know what? I'm what? not alone. No. And I know where to go for help. No. I'm no. strong. No, you're not. I am invincible. You're not. I am woman. No! Geekman! No! Stop it! Are you with us? Mm. You know, kids, yes. a little bit of anxiety is actually a good thing. It gives you that little bit of motivation and energy, you need to do your best. 
You did it! Keep practicing those strategies we talked about today. For more strategies and resources for math anxiety, consult the supplement that accompanied this video and get guidance from your instructor, counselor, and tutoring center. I think you've all learned the keys to overcoming math anxiety in whatever form it may appear. You've all earned this. The doors of opportunity are open to you. Now go forth and multiply! I smell daisies in the winter I hear robins singing sweet songs all year round For if I'm ever feeling blue Remember that there's always something that you can do When you see the good in everything The worst nightmares come from within But so does the power to overcome them The key to confidence and success is of our own making Open the door to your ultimate potential. What is waiting for you on the other side? I see sunshine when it's raining. I taste chocolate when I eat my cauliflower. For if I'm ever feeling blue, remember that there's always something that you can do. There's always something that you can do when you see the good in everything.